Sometimes things just don't work out. Job interviews, relationships, baking that sponge cake that deflated so much. Roger Goodell started asking for your cell phone. <laughs> Basically, one of the things you learn in life is that things can go south despite your best efforts. Take three and a half years ago, for example. There I was watching hour after hour waste away for many, many days as I meticulously guided my squad in XCOM Enemy Unknown to protect Earth from the alien invasion. And everyone lived happily ever after. Or not. See, 20 years after commanding Earth's elite squad of alien hunters, we find out that those darn dirty extraterrestrials actually won. At least that's the premise behind follow-up XCOM 2 for the PC. After skulking in the shadows in the previous game, the aliens are now front and center in Earth's power structure. This includes complete control of a planet that now features shiny megacities drowning in alien tech. Not to mention disturbing experiments that mix alien genes with the human hoi polloi and vice versa. Even after getting the bad, impossible Iron Man ending in the previous game, however, there's still hope for humanity to chart its own destiny. Following the disastrous defeat of the world's armies, remnants of the XCOM fighting force remain, giving you a chance to redeem yourself and take up the reins of command yet again. Then again, doing so is definitely no picnic. As a resistance, you're no longer a well-funded plan A or B or C against the alien invasion. You're pretty much plan Z at this point, and have to rely on your own resourcefulness as a group instead of the world's major economies. Making things tougher is the series' trademark difficulty. I'm sure it's know that the definitive XCOM experience involves playing with Iron Man mode on, which makes you lose the security blanket of reloading saves when things go to heck in a handbasket, and you have to deal with the addition of permadeath to the whole equation. It's the mode that best stimulates that element of hopelessness and dread that your troops must feel as they fight a superior alien force amid the fog of war, all the while praying to the statistics gods that their attacks actually hit. On the plus side, having the tables turned on humanity has also led to a few changes in XCOM 2. At the top of the list is starting most battles in concealment, which is akin to a role reversal from the previous game. This adds an extra layer of Will Ferrell-like strategery, allowing you to weigh your options, such as setting up an ambush and ganking foes, or going ahead and just revealing yourself for a heads-on fight. At the same time, XCOM 2 also bumps up the randomness that you have to deal with, which can really put a wrinkle in your plans at times. In addition to maps being more random, dynamic reinforcements for foes means you have to deal with a lot more unpredictable scenarios, including enemy positioning and spawn points, for example. This ratchets up the challenge and the tension, especially for Iron Man players who have to deal with the specter of permadeath hovering above their heads. This means caution and thoughtfulness is encouraged as one moment of carelessness or impatience where you push way forward quickly to save time can lead to your team getting wiped out. Don't think you can just do the opposite and slowly turtle your way to victory, however. Some maps require you to get things done within a certain time limit, forcing you to get going even when you're not 100% comfortable with doing so. That being said, you'll want to make sure that you have contingency plans for your contingency plans and an extra contingency plan behind that for good measure whenever possible. There will be times, for example, when you find yourself in RNG purgatory and miss an attack with a 95% rate for success, turning a comfortable advantage into the battle of Little Bighorn. <laughs> Goose Fraba. In addition to new and reimagined classes and foes, some familiar enemies get a fresh coat of paint too. You'll learn to quickly take out new, more human-like sectoids, for example, which are not only sturdier but can resurrect dead bodies in the field and sick them against you. Then again, field battles are just one part of the game. Managing your troops, technology, and resources continue to be a big part of the XCOM 2 experience. This time, a converted alien craft renamed the Avenger serves as your mobile base of operations, allowing you to travel to various locations while playing a cat and mouse game with your foes. In addition to the areas such as the command bridge, the Avenger also has several rooms that can be developed to meet your needs, whether it be training troops or developing tech, for example. Your success in managing your troops and growing your resources is just as important as your battle prowess, so you certainly want to make sure you do your due diligence with this part of the game. XCOM 2 also provides nice customization for your troops, further strengthening your investment and personal connection to them. Of course, this also makes it more gut-wrenching when you lose people, which is part and parcel of the whole XCOM experience. For graphics lovers, Fire Access also does a great job in the looks department, provided you have a PC that's strong enough to run it at higher settings. XCOM 2's optimization issues also can impact performance. Admittedly, this game won't be for everybody. For starters, it can be quite stressful and the loss of soldiers you've poured your heart and soul into can be devastating. Granted, you could lower the difficulty and turn off Iron Man. 
Some will say though that that waters down what makes gameplay special, but it's a solid strategy game even without permadeath. The game also suffers from an assortment of bugs and little issues that can be quite annoying. From a user interface standpoint, for example, it can take a few attempts sometimes to click on the point or unit you want to before the input actually works, which gets old after a while. The game also can feel repetitive at times, and players might get frustrated when the RNG gods mess with them, making certain encounters feel unfair. Overall, XCOM 2 doubles down on the trademark gameplay of the franchise while adding some new elements to help keep things fresh. A challenging jaunt, the game is at its best when testing players' limits and layering the feeling of dread and hopelessness from fighting a superior foe. The random nature of the game can feel unfairly difficult at times, and an assortment of bugs and niggles keep XCOM 2 from achieving perfection. For lovers of strategy gaming, however, the game is an excellent rendition of the genre.